morning, Sunday morning, we're out in the wander. Uh, I've just, just left day 75, uh, about a mile west of Glenluce. Uh, I've tur turned onto the Sand Head Road, or the road that we take you to the Molly Galloway. Uh, today, Oreg and me are going to have a wee wander around a place called Tors Warden. A weird name, which I will go into at a later date. We're going to do a short walk. I'm still not up to the mark. Tors Warden is one of these places where you can do a really long walk. Uh, or a short walk. So we'll go for one of the shorter ones. Yeah, you know, something about an hour long. Just a nice short dog walk. Ah, it's a beautiful day for it. So let's go and enjoy ourselves. Very big car park. There we go. Oh, oh, good. There's not many people. Ah. Right. There's nobody. Ha, good. We've got the place to ourselves. This is the Tors Warren car park. As you can see, it's right off the, the road. It's not a big car park, but there's enough. Uh, so today, we're going to go down here. And... Now we're away from the car park. Morag can go off the lead. Can you? Oh. Right girl, come on. Come on. Come on. This is a Forestry Commission place, so the paths will be minimal. But very nice. Look at this. It's a beautiful bit. Morag isn't running about so much. I think it's because there's that many smells. It's a... Look at that. Whoa! Big tree. <laughs> Wee dog. <laughs> Quite a gentle walk. Now, they say that it can be easy to get lost in this one. Because, you know, the trees are all around, the paths are... Uh, meandering. <laughs> so, all I've got with me is my mobile phone. It's got a 
you know, one of these map things on it shows you exactly where you are in the world. So, at least I'll know the direction to go home. <laughs> then again, more I'll probably find a way back. Oh! The name, Tor's Warren. That's a weird one. Uh, I'd bother working it out. Uh, I finally found something on the net that would tell me why. Uh, Tor, or Tor's is a small hillock in Gaelic. And Warren, well we all know what a Warren is. It's rabbits. Now, we had the Romans here, so whether it was them that brought the rabbits or not, we don't know. There was a Cistercian uh, Abbey or Monastery in Glen Luce, just down the road. I, maybe it was them that brought the rabbits. But this whole place was infested with them. Uh, 17 and 1800s, there's records. In the 1800s, uh, they were farming them. Probably long before that. So, uh, there's records of 18,000 pairs been sent to England for the fur. They just sent the, the skins. And the meat was sold locally. Uh, four pence a pair. Well, that was in the 1800s. Four pence for a pair of rabbits. <laughs> if they were running wild, I don't think there'd be many people paying for them. I wouldn't they? <laughs> But you can see it's very sandy soil. Uh, so that's how Tor's Warren got its name. Uh, you know, none of the sites, the forestry or Canmore say that. I had to go into a, a Scottish language site to find that. Ah, uh, but we found it. Look at this, what a beautiful day. Now, as you see, there's a fence down there. We're actually on the edge of West Through. Uh, that's a military sort of range. And I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> yes, uh, we've came too far west. There's loads of paths here. It's amazing! It's a warren! <laughs> ah, look at that down there. There's a lot of uh, ponds. They look semi-man-made, but they're sludge ponds. Uh, I can't find out what they were used for. Uh, there's been so much happened here over the years. But we'll wander back and try to get a wee bit further east. Okay, Morag, here is a track. So what we'll do is we'll take this track in the way. Come on. See, there's tire tracks here, so I didn't see this on Northern Survey map. That could be new. Okay, Morag, come on, show me the way. And here's a weird sign. <laughs> Caution, bees at work. <laughs> right. Come on, Morag. Ah, oh yeah. What have you found? Ah, yes. Ah, that must be where these uh, ponds are. That's what's inside that fence. 
sludge ponds for west of Scotland water. That's not been west of Scotland water in a while. Right, Morag, come on, run that. Okay, Morag's saying we're going this way. So we'll wander away for that fence and into the forest a wee bit. A less used track. Oh, it's beautiful. You can only say that. And there's more tracks. Tracks everywhere. Take it easy, Morag. There's been a, a lot of historical stuff found in this area. You're just a mile and a half south of the village of Dunragget. Now, Dunragget, the Raggies of Ragget were a clan, a chiefdom back in uh, Roman times. Their powerhouse was uh, Cumbria and it stretched up to here. Ah, uh, stories are linked with Telly Asin and yeah, these people. Now Dunragget means the fort of the Raggy. And there is a lot of arch artifacts from that time in the area. A lot of a lot of artifacts. Daggers, axes, it's all there. Oh yes. And Morag's found somebody to bark at. Morag, come on. That's us back onto the main track. So the car park's just up there. But we'll go down here for a wee bit before we come back. I've still got some energy left. Uh, as I was saying, Dunragget was obviously quite an important place at one time. Uh, it's amazing the amount of archaeological stuff that's been found in this area. This path, I think it's about two mile long. And it takes you out to a point and you can get out into the sandy beach that way. It's a long walk for today. This is one that I'm going to come back and do once I'm fit enough. Because it's practically undiscovered. I looked at the in the internet and somebody was saying there's a good walk here if you if there's a, a group of you you can leave some of the cars at Sandhead and you can come here and walk to the end of this path get down at the beach and then walk back along the beach as long as the army and military are not working and you can get right along it's about a nine mile hike but seemingly it's a beautiful walk uh, just got to be careful crossing the, uh, some of the streams. Oh, but look what we found. Coos! <laughs> look at that. Okay, Morag, you leave them all in. Walk on. Hey, walk on. Right, this is us heading back. As I said, I wasn't going to do too much of this. I'm still waiting for it to get my operation getting buggered about by the hospital <laughs> makes a change <laughs> ah. anyway 
slowly getting back. Oh. Right, where am I going now? Uh, I'm going to go and plan one of my trips. I know somebody that's got a gypsy wagon that they let out. I'm going to go and have a look at that. Uh, that'll be a trip later in the year. But this is back at the car park. This is a reasonably easy walk. It can be a long walk, it can be a short walk. There's paths everywhere. Uh, they're a wee bit, some of them are a wee bit uh, dodgy underfoot. But just be careful, you'll be alright. Uh, and as it said, it would, as you went further up, it, it would be easy to get lost. So take something where you to find your way back just in case. <laughs> anyway, that's it for Morag. That's it for me. You know what I'm doing now? I'm going for a coffee, so ding! Uh, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next walk. <laughs> see you later. <coughs>